وإن أوهن البيوت لبيت العنكبوت لو كانوا يعلمون The weakest of homes is the home of the spider if only they knew And it's not just because of the web but also for what happens inside it too The most fragile of homes, home to the most ferocious of family feuds, a husband and wife relationship that is solely based on being used for consummation. See, as soon as they finish mating, the wife would then consume. The body of her own husband is disgusting and so can the children be too. See, as soon as they mature, they would chew upon their own mother as a source of food. It's sinister, it's crude. I don't want to imagine it, but it's true. And such the examples that are used, not because God can be cruel, but for God to prove that the weakest of homes are those in which the inhabitants are abused. See, marriages are meant to bring happiness, and a home is a refuge of tranquility and comfort to all those who walk through. And if you ever do happen to fall into disputes, you must learn to understand that the marriage isn't always about you. Rather, it's learning to live together as one, although we are still living together as two. In a home where everybody knows that they belong, with love, kindness, and mercy, so we could all just get along, and there's no need for fighting every time something small goes wrong. Because you can't build a home upon violence and then expect it to stand strong. I mean, what kind of man would harm his wife in the darkness of the night, leaving her to bleed as he scars her for life, having to cover up her bruises as she tries to hide them from sight? She is so focused on her responsibilities but fails to realize that he also owes her rights. She has a husband you meant to provide, protect, respect, guide and guard her. You were her garment, her lifelong partner, her prince charming who should charm her, her knight in shining armor. But a knight has turned into a nightmare as he spends his nights trying to harm her. As she begs him on her knees, please, I need you to be calmer. I urge you, see, patience is a virtue. I never even heard you. I promise I didn't mean to hurt you. Please don't be mad. And please don't let the kids see, because it's not right for a dad. It's sickening and it's sad that such scenes are happening in reality. Within the homes of so many broken families, it's a calamity that we forgot what the meaning of marriage is. Did you forget that the best of you in character is he who is best to his wife? The best of advice from the one who never harmed a servant, child, or wife in his whole entire life, Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was the best of examples in how to treat a woman right. See if his wife had cooked something he had liked, he would eat it, and if he didn't, he would leave it without expressing an ounce of dislike. He would even refuse an invitation to food until his wife had also received an invite, and he would help around the house too just to make a workload light. He was the pinnacle of being polite, and he taught us that the strongest of men is not he who knows how to fight, but rather he who restrains his anger right at the moment of strife. So have patience, brother. I mean, you wouldn't allow it for your own mother, daughter, or sister. You wouldn't bear to watch another man punch and kick her. So the next time you even think to cause her trauma and hit her, you need to understand that she too is another man's mother, daughter, or sister. So dear sister, no human being deserves to live a life of violence alone. So if he doesn't treat you with kindness, don't live in silence trying to fight this on your own. Rather seek help from God first and don't be afraid to then pick up the phone and let your people know that you are no longer willing to live in the weakest of homes. Violence against women? Islam says no 